Happy Friday! The second Leonardo DiCaprio movie we're going to talk about from the 501 Must See Movies is The Departed. This movie not only has Leonardo DiCaprio, but it also has Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, Mark Wahlberg, Martin Sheen, and Alec Baldwin. There are so many huge names in this movie, and it is an amazing story. There's so many layers, there's so much going on, you don't know who's good or who's bad, the lines are blurred, you can't really... You can't really trust anybody. Right from the get-go, this movie has huge character development. And I'm gonna talk about another movie coming out next week that has absolutely no character development. And this is why it is so important. Because right from the start, there's so many characters that are being introduced, there's so many storylines that are overlapping, pa like passing ships, so much going on. And the setup and knowing who the people are and what's going on and why we should watch them, why we should care about them, what they're doing is so important. And this movie does it better than any movie I can ever remember seeing. I absolutely love how much this movie flows between the two stories. Similar to Alfred Hitchcock, it splices between Matt Damon's storyline and Leonardo DiCaprio's storyline, and they have the same characters in their circles. They have a lot of the same things going on, but they never meet. They never know who each other is, and it's just really, really well done. You have to watch it. You have to pay attention. You have to see all the things going on behind the scenes, and it is, it's a roller coaster. It's... I can't stop gushing about it. It's a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, it is so great. And I'm not gonna, I don't wanna ruin it too much because it's another one of those movies where there's a huge setup and there's a lot going on at the end and I don't wanna give away the ending for anyone who hasn't seen it. Even though again, the statute of limitations on spoilers has expired, I'm just gonna call it the flying scene. So when they have the flying scene, I never expected that to happen and anyone who's seen the movie I hope you know what scene I'm talking about. It is the first time I ever saw a character that big and that main in the story do something like that. And it's really, really impressive. And it kind of set the tone for me expecting that from other movies. And it's still, it's still hard to watch, but I really enjoy how they did it. What I love about Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie is both their characters are very strong, they're very smart, they're very great opposing forces, they're well matched, they both are highly unsuspected by the people they're working with, and they both sniff each other out. So it's really, really amazing to see these two guys go at it, but the one little detail I noticed that's a huge main point that's the difference between them is that Matt Damon, when he sees his girlfriend's picture of her in the pigtails on the bike, says, hey, we should hide this in the den. This isn't something I want company to see. But when Leonardo DiCaprio sees the same picture in her apartment, he actually takes it off the wall where she has it hung low and hangs it up right, right center and says this is something that should be seen. So that just shows you the two different types of guys we're dealing with. And of course, one can't get it up and one can. So there's another difference between the two of them. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to say about this movie is that it has one of my favorite all-time best lines in a movie. So there's a guy who says to Mark Wahlberg, who are you? And Mark Wahlberg says, I'm the guy who does this job. You must be the other guy. It's absolutely hilarious. It's so well delivered. It's perfect that Mark Wahlberg says it, if you know his character in the movie. And it's, it really hits me on a personal level because there are some times when people don't do shit and I would love to say like, who the fuck are you? I'm the guy who does this job. You must be the other guy. We have two more Leonardo DiCaprio movies left. If you want to continue watching and see what else we have in store for you from Leo, 
hit the subscribe button, like this video, and we will see you next week.